Today I'm going to bring you information to show you how Sacramento at this very moment at the time of this is breaking the law. What law? The California Constitution that every member of the Assembly and Senate takes an oath when they take their office to uphold and defend. So what do I mean by breaking the law? Well, first, I'm going to use two legal terms that all of you need to know. I'm going to help you break them down by going to the common thing that we would find on our Internet. First is called a bill of attainder. Well, what does that mean? Simply, it means the act of the legislature declaring a person or a group of people guilty of some crime and punishing them, often without a trial. That is covered in our state's constitution. To be very clear where that's covered is in Article 1, Section 9 which states, and I quote, from their website, a bill of attainder, comma, ex post facto law, comma, or law impairing the obligation of contracts may not be passed. That means the Senate and the Assembly can't pass any law that would violate Article 1, Section 9. They're going after your very right during this whole process to be heard because Assembly Bill 88 isn't what we would call a normal policy bill, the kind of bill that CRPA and other 2A groups tell you to fight. This is a budget bill. That's right, folks. A bill that was designed to be nothing but the budget. But during this COVID-19, using all sorts of excuses and clauses, the Assembly has turned it into a policy bill. And using this turn to violate the very Constitution that they're uphold. I don't care if you're a Democrat, a Republican, or independent. This is illegal. I really don't care if you're pro-gun, anti-gun, or in between. It has nothing to do with the gun issue. It has to do with criminal acts being taken up by the Assembly and Senate themselves. We have a wonderful video clip. Don't take it from me. Don't think that I'm just some irate gun guy that's like, hey, we got to yell about this. Let's hear what Senator Nielsen of the California Senate had to say about the eagle acts that are happening within that body. Madam Chair, I do have to follow up on this. When I found out about this last night, I was very offended and angry. Too often now, major policy is slipped into the budget, and that's exactly what you're trying to do here. I find your reasoning very deficient. Even from the standpoint of the arrogance to say, well, this is something that we just want to do and, and, and it's uh, dangerous and I don't even agree with that. But the point is circumventing the legislative process. This is reprehensible. And my signal to the Department of Finance and the Horseshoe is this is not the way to do business with the legislature. Just because you can get away with it, maybe and get the votes. It's a great disservice to the people of California who don't know about these games being played in the dark of night. So here at CRPA, we keep the promise that we'll provide facts, not fiction, and we'll provide you the actual evidence. We've done that today. This is why you need to engage your local assemblyman and state senator and say, no, we are not gonna allow you to hide in the dark, as Senator Nielsen says, and play games with our lives and our laws. Stop the shenanigans. Contact us at contact at crpa.org or join us at crpa.org.